Snooker great Ronnie O'Sullivan alleges he was wrongfully accused of kidnapping as or teenager, leading to his arrest and or subsequent strip search. O'Sullivan, now 47, is widely considered to be among the sport's all-time greats. The Essex native is presently ranked first after winning seven world championships. A record-setting 39 ranking championships have been his since 1993. O'Sullivan is one of the most well-known and fascinating people in snooker because of his long career, engaging style of play, and forthright personality. The Rockets' recent disclosure supports the notion that he is an unpredictable individual. O'Sullivan was asked to reveal his closest brush with the law. He replied, I got falsely accused of a kidnapping when I was 17 or 18. It was scary. They took me and my mate in separately, strip searched me, took my car away for forensics, put me in all white paper suit. I was like, what's going on here? Thankfully, O'Sullivan put the episode behind him and went on to dominate the world of snooker. He won his first world title in 2001 and followed that up with another six victories. He was knocked out of this year's tournament by eventual winner Luca Brussel. In the modern era, only the great Stephen Hendry has won as many world titles as O'Sullivan. Joe Davis is the current record holder with 15 titles between 1927 and 1946. The Rocket has also won the UK Championship or record seven times and the Masters or record seven times. The World Championship, the Masters and the UK Championship are the three most prestigious events in snooker, referred to as the Triple Crown. O'Sullivan has battled his mental health and addictive personality throughout his life. When asked what his greatest achievement is, the snooker legend replied, Staying on the straight and narrow. I know I am an addict. I've got an addictive personality, but as long as it's not affecting my life or people around me, then I think it's okay. O'Sullivan also revealed his snooker cue is his most treasured possession and thinks he's not made the most of his talent. When asked what he would change about his past, he replied, I would go back to when I was 14 and keep to my own style of playing snooker. I was perfect, but I didn't think I was, so I started playing like everybody else and created bad habits. With a little more time, I could have been the ultimate player. I look at my career and I probably got 75% out of it instead of 100 per century. Don't forget to subscribe the channel for more latest snooker updates.